Hi, and welcome to Voice with Julia and day 82 of our Marchese Vocal Challenge, where we are diving into our chromatics on exercise 128 and 129. Voice with Julia, change your voice, change your life. So on these next two exercises, Marchese has us taking the chromatic scale up even higher. So we're just getting used to this feeling. Um, exercise 128 has a unique rhythm because we're not beginning on the beat. We're on the 16th note right after the beat. So you need to pay attention to that on um, 128. And 129 has the unique signifier as this is currently the highest note yet notated in Marchese, even though she does say that we can transpose the other exercises, this is actually the highest written note that Marchese has in the exercise book up to this point. So remember, we are gonna keep this nice and slow. Accuracy is important, no tension in the throat. That's really important. As you go through this, these chromatics, it's important that you find any place in your voice where the muscles want to grip. And that's where you kind of need to work at releasing the tension. Look at the vowel that you're using because you can't just take up one vowel and push it up. The vowel has to modify and change as you go through the different parts of the range. And you'll kind of feel what that has to do in your own throat. So you, this, these are good exercises to get used to that feeling and how you have to modify vowels and pharyngeal space as you go up into your upper register. And here is exercise 128. <laughs> so I still did play the notes along with myself. Um, I'm going to do that one more time so that you can do that again with me. So we're gonna do. So you're gonna feel that. Okay? That's the important part to feel in that exercise. Now here is exercise 129. We're going up to the high C, back down. Take your time on this one, okay? Because you do want to feel around and kind of drive the car, but don't go so slow that you feel yourself getting tense. So we're gonna do octave, two octave jump, back down two octaves. I find that tricky. Going up is fine, then I come back down and it's like, where is that note? So just be sure you have that note really firmly anchored in your brain. And I'm gonna give you a little trick on exercise 129 because this two octave jump can be tricky. So I want you to think about the lower note being on ooh, and then the upper note will feel differently registrated. So you're not gonna sing an open bright ah when you're first practicing. You will eventually put that ah in there but I want you to feel that ooh, because that's gonna be that registrational hookup that you need to the top. So just really understand how that relates, because if you're trying to drive up, uh, you're probably not gonna be registered, especially if you're using these exercises as vocalises in the morning. This is not the time to be, you know, bringing up the heavy mechanism into the high. So by putting on the ooh, it will teach the voice where it needs to be in the bottom in order to be set up for the top. And here is exercise 129. Ooh. 